do you all know that how it important it is to program a subconscious mind and before getting into the programming of a subconscious mind first of all let's know what is subconscious mind and how it is being influenced by our past beliefs limiting beliefs and how it has been programmed by the uh, society and by ourselves so subconscious mind subconscious mind is something which has processed all the information right from a birth it has stored all the past information right from the birth uh, like it has been stored in our dna so uh, right from the birth it uh, till now like whatever information we see or whatever information even that has happened to us it did not be like what information what we have faced uh, personally it could also be like what we have seen around us like in media or something else for example in my childhood days uh, like uh, in 2004 when tsunami occurred i got to see in media like lots of in- news has been covered about tsunami that uh, visual thing i was watching it again and again over the tv and i don't know it it uh, it uh, got subconsciously registered in my mind i don't know how it was i i maybe i, I got deeply uh, connected to it or i don't know it got uh, subconsciously registered in my mind and uh, for recent days also uh like uh, in my dream like for for past before few one year or so i used to get a dream of tsunami uh in my uh, like and i used to wake up in the middle of the night and i used to wonder what it has to do with my uh personal like i, I have not experienced it personally or uh, none of my family close mem- people have experienced it i have not watched it personally then how could i how am i getting these kind of dreams then when i researched more about this mind and everything and uh, learning about the mind techniques and all those things it um, i was clear that this it all happens because of the subconscious mind the events what we watch or what we see around us uh, it will get registered subconsciously in our mind and that is going to occur um uh, again and again so not only this just just an instance there could be many uh, such examples like uh, like also the negative beliefs limiting beliefs that we all used to have from our childhood like uh, like we all may think like um, i'm not worthy and or i'm not uh, that much uh, popular or i i cannot do this i cannot do that we all have we all uh, like most of us have these kind of limiting beliefs in our life from our childhood which has been in uh, which has been inculcated either by ourselves or by the society so what happens when these limiting beliefs or whatever the negative happenings which has been inculcated it it will be subconsciously stored in our mind and that is going to affect the future that is going to reoccur in a future as well so we have to first cleanse our mind cleansing is very important so we have to cleanse our subconscious mind not just in mind the subconscious mind which is really going to play an important factor in uh, uh in for shaping a future for the betterment of a future and everything so the subconscious mind if you take for example if we have limiting or uh, negative affirmations as i already told like i am not worthy i am not this i am not that how we can remove these uh, like limiting beliefs or these negative affirmations the first thing is we have to think positive we first we have to decide what we want in our life the decision we have to make like for for example if you want something in our life we need to be focused on it if you are focused like if suppose if your focus is scattered on multiple things then our subconscious mind will get conf- confused it doesn't know what to uh take and it doesn't know what uh, it should like subconscious mind generally it um, it leads us to the future like whatever we think it leads us to that path in case if we are storing multiple things on our in our subconscious mind the ne- say maybe the negative affirmations or our goals if there are multiple goals or whatever it is it is going to take us to a wrong direction like for example health goal since i'm uh, concentrating about about health let me take a health goal for example if you have negative informa- affirmations about a health like i'm not well or i'm not this i'm not uh, i'm not fit or something these kind i may get this uh, illness or these kind of affirmations is going to get stored in subconscious mind and we could definitely see those kind of happenings in our life so our life will be uh, like 
it is it, it it is going to move in that direction only so first we have to clear our mind so decide what we want so say for example say like decide like i am going to be i am healthy i am physically and mentally strong and i i am worthy i'll be able to achieve this so this kind of uh, affirmations positive affirmations put it in your inside your subconscious mind if you can't put it just like that it takes time like how it takes like a uh, if we uh, put a seed in the on the i mean in the soil and if we water it you have to water it continuously just for one week if you water and after one week if you stop watering this plant the plant will not grow similarly these subconscious thoughts positive affirmations what we are going to put inside our mind we have to put it on daily basis at least the research has shown that at least we have to put these positive affirmations into our subconscious mind for 4 weeks or nearly 30 days we have to do this 21 to 30 days so when we keep on doing this this is going to bring some change like from negative side we are going to move on to a positive side so what changes we can observe we can observe that we are going to be more self aware like we are going to be more proud of ourselves we are going to feel self awareness like we we feel what is good and what is bad uh, we feel lots of energy so these kind of changes we can observe when we are uh, putting continuously positive thoughts in our subconscious mind so first point is decide what you want second is uh remove remove all the negative affirmations from your subconscious mind third is consistent be consistent in doing that do consistently do the uh, like positive affirmations and putting your goals inside your sub subconscious mind Please do continuously so that it will have a benefit the fourth one fourth one is the most important thing is we have to be uh, very happy and we have to be very fulfill gratitude i also always say gratitude is very very important thing so show gratitude to everything and everyone around you so that this gratitude nature will nurture the positive affirmations which you have put in your subconscious mind we need like how we have put these seeds in the soil and we need water to nurture the plant growing the plant similarly the seeds what we are going to put inside our mind are the positive affirmations and what what is the water that we are going to pour for the seeds to grow the water would be the gratitude what we uh, are gra- grateful for in our life in the current life whatever scenarios that we are grateful for that we are going to pour so that the seeds like the thoughts positive thoughts will grow in a subconscious mind and it will take us forward to a positive phase of our life so there are so many techniques to do do this uh, like this practice of putting positive affirmations in the subconscious mind so the techniques will deal that with later so for now please to remember that subconscious mind is very very important for happy and healthy life and for also for a very successful life and fulfilled life as well so please do put the pour or uh, keep the keep planting the positive affirmations into your subconscious mind and have a great day if you like my video please like share and subscribe and click the bell icon for notifications thank you bye bye